This video is sponsored by my wonderful patrons. If you'd like to join my Patreon or just want to know more about it, the link is in the description box below and I look forward to having you there. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Patreon, you know what I do. All right, let's get into it, bye. So when I'm approaching art, my personal preference is to run in the opposite direction of realism. Realism is the precise, detailed and accurate representation of the visual appearance of scenes and objects. However, there are still levels to these bezels. Um, so you have semi-realism, um, like the work of YouTube art prince Ross Tran and super talented semi-realistic artist Ruby Coletti. There's also your standard realism. The author is still used today. It was incredibly popular back in the day. Like here we have an 1854 painting by Gustave, as well as William Blisby his Fallen Monarchs painting from 1886. And then we have hyperrealism, like the work of the super talented, amazing, phenomenal fellow Nigerian artist Kingsley Ayogu. Although I have like a great appreciation from realism, like it's beautiful, it looks gorgeous, like we can all agree on that. The people that I looked up to in the art world and that I wanted my work to resemble are people like Steven Silver, who is the character designer for Kim Possible, Kevin Dart, who I've actually made a video on, but the editing is just taking so long. Um, he is a creative designer for Carmen San Diego, amongst other amazing things that I would touch on in more detail in the video about him. There's also the late great phenomenal Darwin Cook, rest in peace. He, he did a lot of work for DC Comics. Um, I, I remember reading like his Catwoman comic. There's also Sue Mont, the background designer for Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, as well as the OG Pop of Girls. I was heavily inspired by Bratz and the Archie comics, and I guess all these things and all, all these amazing people have played a great influence in the kind of art that I want to make. I'm more interested in like the symbols of realism than actual <laughs> realism. Like, um, it's just a personal preference, so that's just what you should take into consideration when you're looking at how I draw characters. I'm not trying. I'm I'm never trying to be realistic. I'm not trying to be human or something that can actually exist in the real world. It's supposed to be as cartoony or as um, caricature as possible. All right, so we're going to be using this reference from Pinterest um, it just to make the process go along quicker. So if you're on my page, when I made a whole post about, you know, using reference and stuff like that. So you could go check it out and see my thoughts and opinions on it. Um, it's, you know, it's cute, something small. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is to draw three circles to represent the head, the chest, and the hips. I just don't like when characters are standing like super straight like an arrow like on like some surgeon or something it looks stiff as for me and my personal preference for creating for myself I don't like when it looks stiff I would rather have my character leaning or bending in some way that doesn't make sense <laughs> than to actually have them standing straight it's just a personal thing for mine so what we're gonna do is literally push these circles away from straightness um, so we're <laughs> I just heard that how that sounded. Um, we're going to push these circles out of straightness, but also in line with our reference pose. Aha, so that should be fine. After that, it's time to fill in the body. To do this, we're going to be using an old school cartoon principle known as straights against curves. This is an old school technique um, of drawing characters that is still used today. Um, Basically, if you see a straight line, I needed to meet that body with a curve. Having straight lines against curves just makes your work look a little bit more interesting and also helps to remove the stiffness. So I did a quick Google search to see if I can find someone who can explain the reason for straights versus curves. You know, a little better than me just saying, it's interesting. And I found this post by Norman LeMay and you know, let's go through it. So Norman says, a straight line leads the eye quickly. A curve or series of curves slows down the eye to give it information on shape and volume. 
you can read the entire thing by Norman, but essentially he's saying that curves are what gives it, you know, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, you know, some flavor, you know, some spice, you know, shake things up. It's what makes it interesting, makes it look fun, makes it look, you know, catch your eye. By the way, quick mention that this is not the right way to create art. It's just one way to create art. You can feel free to use curves against curves and straights against straights. It can lead to some very interesting geometrical looks that I really do love to see. The type of lines that you use can also be used to give an idea of the personality of your character. So lots of strong straight lines can make your character look you know, strict or defensive or professional, while lots of curves can make your character look cute if they're small or sexy if they're big um, but for this video we're focusing on straight versus curves so let's head back to the tutorial so let's go you know you draw a straight line for her leg what comes next a curve baby <laughs> However, because I want her leg to have a separation between the thighs and the yams or calf, I'm going to use two curves. So we have straight line, curve one, curve two, and then her feet. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Straight line, curve, curve. Straight line, curve. Straight line, curve and so on and so forth and so on and so forth and with that done i fill in the rest of the body all right with that done there is literally nothing else i can really like you know tutor you in a tutorial about my art um because when it comes to like facial features i don't see if this is worthy of a lesson my nose brows and even sometimes mouth are literally just lines <laughs> literally just one line um so it's not really much to tutor you about um but if you really want me to do like a tutorial on it i would try and come up with something i guess just let me know in the comment section but i don't really think it warrants a whole you know teaching session but alrighty um with that all done and out of the way watch me finish up the drawing with some sweet tunes and you know you know you know, enjoy it I don't really care about your candle lit movies See rose petal bath, medium ring You say sheets, I don't wanna hear about you And Mr. Perfect and the way he rubs your feet Without you asking, was I asking? I don't wanna know how he kisses you right Or the way he holds you up against the wall Like starry night, or yeah, oh my god He really wants to marry me He knows how to cook and he's taking me to Italy I don't really care what he got to for your birthday Or that his mom invited you to dinner this Thursday Or that he got your flowers just for being his girl And he's so good with his hands, I'm just so happy He's my man. I don't wanna know that you do it every day. I don't wanna hear about all the different ways he gives it to you. Just keep it to yourself. Or run along and talk about this with someone else. It'd be a good thing, would be a good thing if I had it. But I wake up to this empty room. Can't break the habit. I've been waiting, anticipating, no good at it. The grass keeps getting greener. have it folks that's the video if you liked it subscribe leave a thumbs up um check me out on patreon instagram twitter like subscribe leave a comment tell me your favorite food your favorite tv show whatever just you know say something to me talk to me nice i'll talk to you back and i'll see you in the next one bye
can hear me 